There are 31 nights till Halloween, which means these are the 31 nights to watch horror films. This is 31 Nights of Halloween. I know I say this a lot, but honestly, the Evil Dead series is probably one of the greatest series of all time, and I can say why right now. It's still around. Till today, it's still around. And what they, they don't even make them anymore with the same characters at all. You see, the Evil Dead series, from the first one, the second one, Army of Darkness, the television series, the remake and the new remake or sequel, I don't even know what you want to call it, are fantastic, each one of them. I'm telling you, I even like the remake that they did a few years ago, and I love Evil Dead Rise. Plus, it takes the genre of zombies because they're kind of zombies, they're, un they're dead things, they're deadites, right? And it just revamps it. So there's this book, The Necronomicon Ex Mortis, or The Book of the Dead, bound in human flesh and inked in human blood, contains an ancient incantation that, if you recite it, will cause the spirits of the evil to awaken and possess you, turn you into a deadite. It's a beautiful film, and it says that it takes all these different ideas and incorporates it into its own myth, and it works fabulous. So yes, they'll come, they'll possess you, and and then just basically turn your life into a living hell until you die, you're dead. And that's what they do with Ash. They just, they just want to destroy him. But I know I love these films. I really do love these films. And Ash is such a unique character in general because Ash is different. He's not, uh, he's an, our horror icon, but he's not a villain. He's not a killer. He's not Jason or Michael Myers or Freddy Krueger. He can't be put on that list. He can't even be put with uh, Herbert West because he's, he's not a bad, Herbert West is a smart genius, but he's still not a good person. And Ash is a good person just thrust into this situation by circumstance. Ash is like the only one that actually beat them and he's like the legend. That's why he's in the book in the past. They said a man will come and it's Ash. It's, it's, this is fantastic. Every movie's different pretty much. The first one's different. First one's a straight up horror film. The second one is a horror comedy and it's fantastic. The second one is my favorite of all time. Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. I love it. Even when I was a kid, it just used to scare the living crap out of me. Army of Darkness took me a long time to turn around to it. I do enjoy it now, but as a kid, I, I didn't like it. I was like, this is not it, because I wanted a horror, a straight up horror movie, and that wasn't a horror film. Plus, I didn't even understand how it was gonna work. I remember when I saw Army of Darkness, I, I hated it. But now I do like it, and I appreciate it for what it is. And the Evil Dead series, which I've only saw a few episodes of the, because I didn't have stars, I only saw a few episodes of, uh, of season one. So I didn't get, I've heard great things about the Evil Dead series. I want to check that out. And like I said, I love the remake that they did or reboot that they did in, a few years ago. And I love Evil Dead Rise. I think that's the, probably, if I think about it really hard, yeah, I think that's the best horror film of 2023. Evil Dead Rise was fantastic. It was, I'm surprised they released, they only put it out for one week. It could have done great. And I'm surprised they didn't put it out in October. Honestly, it's the worst decision Warner Brothers did. Well, that was a really dumb decision. Well, anyway, the Evil Dead series is fantastic. I talked about the Necronomicon, the mythos that it created, the Necronomicon, the Book of the Dead. It's become its own thing. It was even in fucking Jason Goes... Uh, no, it was It was even in Jason Goes to Hell. That was the Necronomicon was there. And I believe the, the, the sword in the first one, which I don't think was in the second one, uh, was in, the ne in that movie too. Was that the same sword that they had to stab Jake? I don't even know if that was, but I don't remember. But this is a great series, and it is one of my favorites. Uh, it really, it truly is. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do reaction videos to Evil Dead series in the uh, because I have only seen like four episodes. I think I uh, the last episode I saw was when Lucy Lawless appeared in season one, and that was it. So I don't know what episode that was. Maybe three. I don't know. But I did like the show that when I first saw the first three episodes. Sam Raimi is one of the directors out there in Hollywood that has this distinct visual style. If you look at any Sam Raimi film, you can tell it's a Sam Raimi film from the way he does certain scenes at certain times. I mean, look at that whole claw scene when Dr. Octopus wakes up or his tentacles wake up in Spider-Man 2. That's Sam Raimi's style directing. That You can see that in Evil Dead. You can see that even in Quick and the Dead. Sam Raimi has that style. It's just like... How Brian De Palma has a style too. It's more like Alfred Hitchcock with his little uh, Dutch angles and things like that. Sam Raimi has his own style too. It's unique and it stands out in his, in his films. I mean, 
I think Sam Raimi is a fantastic director. I, I, lo- I really enjoy many of his movies. And I remember him wanting to direct, I believe it was The Shadow, but he couldn't get the rights to The Shadow. So instead, what did he do? He made Darkman. And the first Darkman with Liam Neeson, you, that's, you should check that too. That's, a, that's, a, that's like a body horror comic book movie. It's, that's a good one too. I remember, I think there was a video game I played too on the Nintendo for that. This is great. If you haven't seen Evil Dead, I don't know how you haven't seen Evil Dead. <laughs> I don't, really don't know. You should definitely check it out. I would start with two. You know, two's the best one. So if, if you haven't seen Evil Dead, I would start with two. If you want to see them all, watch all of them. They're great. Every single one of them. I really do. I think this is the best franchise out there. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.